What is up guys and welcome back to our Road to Call Crew mode with Sheffield United episode number 27 and today we've got loads of transfers straight up and we're going to be signing some players. Obviously last episode we didn't really sign anyone, we only really signed a free agent goalkeeper who's actually pretty good, he's 69 rated and 18 years old so he's got room to grow. But anyway, our first two signings, obviously we did all the negotiations last episode, Mikel Antonio coming in from West Ham and also Matt Phillips coming in from West Brom. And then we was on to two more players now, Moussa Dembele obviously has been linked with Big, big clubs in real life. Like, I think it was linked with Barcelona and Real Madrid at once. I mean, obviously in January, Chelsea were the favourites. But in the end, they didn't move. And also, we're going for the old Manchester City player. Well, I mean... The thing is, he, I know he's out on loan at Man City, but for some reason he's at Celtic permanently on the game. It's Patrick Roberts, so we went in for both them Celtic players. I maybe paid a bit much for Patrick Roberts, realising when Celtic just basically accepted the deal straight away. I mean, I know he's 21 years old, 75 rated, but I maybe should have used Kevin Stewart for the Dembele deal instead because, you know, it was a straight-up swap. Also, Stewart's worth, like, 7 million, and in the end, I had to pay quite a bit for Moose Dembele. I mean, don't get me wrong, he, he looks like a really good player. I mean, he is still really young, 78 rated, but you know, I should have maybe swapped the other players around. But in the end, you know, we signed Patrick Roberts. We uh, obviously now sign, well, negotiated a contract from Musa Dembele. Hopefully, he will sign, but he won't be signing before this game. And it's a Sheffield derby. I mean, we've played Sheffield Wednesday in League One, obviously. Where we played him in the EFL Cup. We played him in the Championship, both EFL Cup and the League. And now we're playing him in the opening day of the season. Yes, they came up through the playoffs. Burnley did not get through because, you know, up until like Christmas, it was like me and Burnley battling out for first place. And then obviously, uh, Middlesbrough kind of took that spot. Burnley dropped off. I mean, don't go wrong, we dropped off as well. But, um,. You know, Burnley dropped off and it ended up being us and Middlesbrough uh, getting automatic promotion. And then obviously Sheffield Wednesday must have just gone through the playoffs and somehow Burnley didn't. But anyway, we're here now at Hillsborough, opening day of the Premier League, back in the Premier League, um, where Sheffield United belong. Bit of controversial for the Sheffield Wednesday fans, I'm guessing, but um, Sheffield Wednesday will probably go up in a couple of seasons anyway. And they might go up this season, you never know. But anyway, this first half was actually... Um, Pretty good. There was a lot going on. It was a good half. It was both at each other, you know, both having a lot of chances there, you know, half time already. The second half was just completely opposite. There was like one or two chances, and that was it. it the second half was, look, 90th minute, it actually came from us. I mean, the goalkeeper, I'm guessing it was Westwood, put off quite a good save, to be fair. But um, yeah, the first half was really good. Both at each other. We, the, the thing is, the both teams just lacked. Uh, a good striker to be fair and we kind of made up for that because we went and signed Moussa Dembele and um, signing him obviously helped us complete one of our objectives the brand exposure one now out of the I think it's five in there brand exposure you development finance you know what I mean out of the five that was the kind of the the most important because all the rest was at a mark of four so it wasn't important and that one was actually at three so that was the most important out of the five and to say it was kind of easy, to be fair, to get it done. So, you know, we've done that one, ticked that off the list. Hopefully our manager rating will go up. I mean, to be fair, if we stay up this season, I think our manager rating should be in the 80s because, you know, when when a new promoted team comes up, your main thing is to obviously stop relegation. I think that's some of our objectives as well, to not get relegated. And to be fair, I don't really see that, that happening. But anyway, Leicester next. And obviously, um, Leicester kind of... Symmetry there, if that's a word, symmetry there, uh, performance in real life because they're actually, they're actually doing rubbish, aren't they, in real life? They're, I don't know why um, the are, so the team's not gelling anymore. Obviously, it's you could just say it's down to Kante leaving because that's the only player that's left and uh, crap now. So, you know, Kante, obviously, if, if you have him in your team, you're going to win the league straight away. But, um, you know, Leicester, they weren't too bad this game, to be fair to them. I mean, we did get an early goal. It was good to finish by Luckman. Um, we changed the formation around this game. I thought, you know, the thing is, I went into the Sheffield Wednesday game thinking if we can just get a kind of a draw, I know that's not really the best mentality, but 
you know, when I've played Sheffield Wednesday in the Championship, I hadn't played good against them. I, I don't actually think we won against them in the Championship. So, you know, I kind of went into the game thinking of a defensive mentality, and not that's not all the best mentality to have. But anyway, went into the um, the Leicester game with a better uh, focus, and we had to change the formation, made it a bit more attacking, and it was working. To be fair, I mean, you know, it was two nil uh, near the fortieth minute, and then actually this happened. Now I was meant to clear the ball with Harry Maguire, held X. And in the end, Slamani, the Algerian striker, just nicked the ball off him. And in the end, Harry Maguire just actually gets sent off and gives away a penalty. I mean, it's a typical Harry Maguire penalty tackle if, you, if you've seen him tackle before. Because obviously I'm a Hull City fan, so obviously he plays for Hull City, doesn't he? So I know of him. And he's a beast and an absolute monster. He commits to tackles when he does them. And that tackle was a typical Harry Maguire tackle. But anyway, he gets sent off. And uh, obviously we had to play the uh, remainder of the game with 10 men but to be fair we, we coped all right we did quite well and um, you know look 85th minute was holding on 2 nil still but then Musa who hasn't actually settled into the Premier League in real life this season just went on a really good run I mean to be fair you could probably say that my defending was pretty crap and I, looking back it probably was I mean look at this slight tackle I, I, the thing is I thought he was going to shoot so I just thought oh let's try and block it but he faked me out and he finished it well in the end so he gets his first goal this season and uh, obviously made it a bit of a close a game but luckily we held on and um, got the three points finally so two games only this episode only because it's just how it's worked really um, there was two games in I think August so it, you know it's just how it works sometimes um, I don't always you know I like to play free but you know like I said it, I didn't want to do deadline day in this episode I wanted to do it next episode but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you have please hit like button subscribe if you are new and guys I'll be seeing you later peace